Hello, I'm BX Toycat, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing something quite cool and perhaps nostalgic for Minecraft Xbox because today I'm going to be going back to one of my first ever worlds uh, that I created the first day Minecraft Xbox 60 came out, and I'm going to be checking it out. I'm going to be seeing why I abandoned it because it's been over three years since I've been in this world now, and I'm also going to be checking out some of the oldest Toy Cat builds in existence that have never been seen on video before because I thought that'd be quite a cool little thing you might just enjoy. If you do, please do like the video and let me know. It helps out the channel a lot and lets me want to see more stuff like this. But let's get straight into the video already by quickly explaining that this isn't entirely my world. Uh, this is the second world I ever created on Minecraft Xbox and I made it as kind of like a co-world between me and a friend I played with Xbox at the time. Uh, so just bear in mind, you know, I can only really take like half the responsibility of this world. You know, just, just bear in mind when you see an awful, awful build. So with that said, let's quickly try and explain this area that I've spawned into. So I guess this was the last thing I did in this world and it looks like I was trying to get the pig, you know, falling off a cliff achievement and the way I figured was best was to get a saddle, put it on a pig, uh, you know, lock up the pig and then just have a massive hole next to it and then you know I guess break it down and wait for the pig to fall down uh, it's it seemed to be uh, successful and I did eventually get the achievement and I guess as soon as I got it I decided well I'm done with this forever and left the world so uh, that's kind of a shame I guess but uh, yeah this is uh, this is what the, the last thing I ever saw the pig on his little saddle in between the things but let's see what out exactly else is in this world because you know it's not just a pig and lots of cobblestone as I tried to trap on the mountain uh, there is also a few other things including one of my first ever houses so of course everybody's first house is awful but I think this one is like a different level of awesome. So, uh, I mean, awful, sorry. But, because uh, if you look at it, there's there's just so much that's slightly off about it. So, first of all, it's one of these... Oh, by the way, House of Toy Cat and uh, those other guys, apparently. Uh, and apparently, this is the name of the guy I used to play with. I don't know how he has a gamer tag so long. I could have sworn there's a limit on it, like the, uh, 13 characters, maybe. Maybe that's exactly 13. But still, that's, that's an impressively long gamer tag that he had there. Uh, and, uh, yeah, basically... Um, as I look around this, you can see there's just so much wrong with this house. Uh, first of all, you know, these signs are slightly off-center. Maybe it's meant to be that way. Second of all, uh, the doors, it looks like, you know, the ha the house is meant to be centered here, but it's got two doors, one to the right there, and they also are both open like that. I, I don't know why why that's the case, but it apparently is. Uh, there's just this massive random cross in front of it. Maybe it's meant to be like a, you know, like a, you know, a crosshair on it. Maybe it's meant to be like the England flag, because that's kind of what the England flag looks like. I don't entirely know, but yeah, this is the first house. I'll show you the inside uh, later but for now just bear in mind it's just a stone box of some snow some cobblestone and some glass on top of it uh, so yeah that's that right there and one of the ideas um, that I'm looking at as I immediately see this world that I really do like that I've got to revive at some point has got to be um, you know having the never portal inside a glass box so it's a you know it's got a cobblestone base to it but then it's glass all around it it really does seem like a cool little snow globe but with a uh, you know never portal inside and even though this broke I guess a creeper must have exploded it because there's like random bits of the sky missing uh, it's still really really cool to see so I'm just going to use host options and I'm I'm going to use those to turn off uh, the rain because nobody likes rain and uh, let's uh Let's quickly uh, show around what else is going on here. So you can see this is also an idea I really like. Uh, just behind the nev portal, or having like stairs into the nev portal, uh, you can see there is actually a chest where we put all the stuff in. You know when we're going in there. So like I don't want to lose my sugar can. Let's put it in the chest. And I just think that's a cool idea to have next to your nev portal anyway. And I don't know. This this is a really cool nev portal. I don't know if I've had a design this good recently. I I, I might have to make this in my uh, you know my current let's play world. See, being inspired by old ideas, that's a good one. So uh, one thing that I think we can all admit is just terrible is this roller coaster design anything so uh, I have sand staircases for reasons I'm not even sure but they lead up to this um you know, this kind of roller coaster thing. You might be wondering what exactly is going on there. So, again, with achievement hunting, I really wanted to get all the achievements when the game first came out. So, we decided to go for the 500 meter minecart achievement. Yep, we can actually do this on minecart, can't we? And, uh, also, what, what is this button read? But, yeah, as you can see, uh, we di I didn't actually read the achievement properly. Uh, it says, like, travel for 500 meters in a single direction. But I didn't read that single direction bit. So I made a roller coaster, which just did... It does all these crazy things, like, it, uh, as you can see. I, I, I really, really like this thing. But, yeah, you can see it does all this crazy stuff. But it doesn't go in one direction. It switches direction constantly. As you can see, we're backing around ourselves now. And that meant that because we started that way, then we decided, okay, let's just go this way for a while. It means that this achievement is so much harder to get. And I don't know if we ever did finish it but yeah as you can see because we started there but we did all of that before we even start on the 500 meter for the achievements also i think yeah because we're near the top of the world uh, 500 meters this way wasn't actually possible but we didn't know that at the time and we just kept on going and going and going and <laughs> yeah there's a random minecart just traveling through the you know the world it's a pretty cool you know way to look at this stuff because uh I believe this is, uh, you know, the old uh, tiger biome, which is, I don't know, it's really nice to look at. But yeah, uh, I believe, oh, yep, yeah, the, the, the track just runs out eventually, and it's like, oh, I guess we've got to turn the thing around now and come back. So uh, this was a project I never finished, unfortunately. I haven't even made a roller coaster since. Uh, I probably should do that in my survival, survival world, to be honest, because, oh, no, no, I, I, ah, oh, darn it. Well, I guess I'm going to have to take my foot or, or fly. 
Actually, we can get into the minecart. No, we oh, wait, it doesn't go as fast about us in there. But yeah, let's just fly back, shall we? As you can see, most of the world is uninhibit uh, un uninhabited, sorry, uh, because you can see just a bunch of stuff going around here. Um, one thing that is really annoying that I've learned since now, that it's like, it would annoy me every time, but I'd never fix it, is uh, not having chickens go on the track. Just have some way to stop, like, you know, like, all, you need, all I need to do is, like, have a fence there and there, and then chickens wouldn't get on there. But I didn't know that at the time. I just always run into sheep, like, turn back around, and it'd be kind of funny like that. So, yeah, this is, uh, this is the old minecart track. It's got loads of just weird stuff coming on it, on off it. Like, I don't know, the, the way the redstone torches is done is probably could be done better. Uh, the way there's just torches, like, on the side every now and then. I, I don't know why that needs to be there. It, it's it's kind of weird, the, the way I decide to do everything here. But yeah, this is my first ever rollercoaster design in Minecraft. Um, I think it's kind of unique and cool. And hopefully you do too. So what else do we have going on here? So, uh, yeah, we've got uh, the... this. I believe this was uh, the Confluffluffluffu's house. Uh, like, he made his own one near my sugarcane farm. Uh, even back then, I was pretty crazy about my sugarcane. It's just... I, I used to be a lot less logical about it, apparently. This is... What, what even is this? Like, is this is this a shape? No, it's just it's just sugarcane planted wherever I could make it. Uh, this used to be water, but it froze over, apparently, with an update, I guess. Um... Which is kind of weird. Uh, this is the wheat farm. Uh, I guess kind of in the same formula of just like, oh, let's just place it everywhere. Uh, I, I apparently was very messy when it came to farms. And I guess that hasn't really been fixed too much since then. And uh, this guy's house, like, I really do admire how compact it is. Like, I, I don't know why it's dirt, then never rack, then sand, and then on fire. But, I mean, it's kind of nice. It's got two floors. I mean, he's got, he's even, wait, does he have a bed in here? No, he doesn't even have a bed, so I guess he never finished it. This was a working project or something. I don't know, it just seems so weird to me the, the way... I, like, there's something so beautiful about how ugly this house is, in my opinion. And, and I really do like it. Like, it looks like a, a normal proportion of a regular house, which is, is interesting to me. So, yeah, with that said, let's show you inside House de Toy Cat. Uh, I think I've shown you just about everything out that's outside now. Uh, there's one other thing. I've got a just massive tunnel that I made going this way. Uh, not even sure I had a reason. I was just like, let's see what's at the edge of the world, because I need to find... Uh, I think I need to find some of the dyes because I need to make something. Oh, for the red dye for the thing. Uh, so I just went that way for as long as I could. I don't even know why. Uh, but that's just one of the ways I did things. So, yeah, this is the house of Toy Cat and maybe those other guys. And as you can see here, it's uh, it's a bit of a crowded mess. Um, it has a gold block because I'm fancy. And it even has a cake, which we're going to eat right now because we need some food. And as oh, we have Cat in the Jukebox. Yeah, we did. <laughs> so we'll play that for a little bit now. Uh, and yeah, if you look around the place, you can see... This really does just shriek old world as you look around the chests and you're just like, ah, it's just, just mossy cobblestone and stone there, right? Eh? And then you look in here and you're like, oh, so we've got a bow here. Uh, oh, food chest, food's gotta be, yeah, there we go. So this is back when food didn't stack, so you had food for just when you need to heal up. But you just left it in a chest and then took out bread when you need it. It, it didn't stack, so you just left it in its own thing. And it's, it's so weird to me that, you know, things have changed so much, but they have. And also two dispensers over here. I'm... I have no idea why there are two dispensers here, but there is, and there's a spider painting on top of them. Also, Jesus in a bathtub over here, which kind of interesting. So, I guess this is where one of the peace people lived. This is his chest full of stone tools. Uh, I don't know why he needs so many, but apparently he does. And if we go up the ladder, uh, we'll be able to find... Ah, this is this is my bedroom. I have two beds, apparently. I guess this must be a guest bed. And then this is my personal chest, where I just have a bunch of stuff. Um... And a single redstone repeater, which is nice. Uh, one thing that I was trying to work, make work here, you might have noticed it from the top, uh, that's kind of weird in this house, is the fact that um, <laughs> I was trying to have like a secret part. Also, it's starting raining again already. That's really unfortunate. Uh, but yeah, let's quickly just uh, fix that. Oh, it thundered. Crazy. But yeah, so... um. I really like having cat play in this house. But yeah, so I was trying to make like a secret part of the house that was only really accessible from my part so no one else would know about it. Uh, it's not really that secret because there's just a door here, but <laughs> the door led to like a ladder which led down some stairs and then this is like the secret part of the house. Really, I just wasted most of the house making a secret room in the basement that never did anything. Like, ooh, look at the secrets that happen here. And I think, oh, there was actually a back entrance to the house that was only accessible this way because you go through here, and then boom, oh, there's a door over here too, not very secret apparently, but there, there is in fact a back entrance, it's a secret back entrance, but it's 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 a secret entrance nonetheless, uh, so yeah, that's that, so let's show you uh, the mines, because this is one of the first projects I was really proud of in Minecraft, uh, and I, I think it's something not many people do do, I guess it may be because, you know, people don't care, but if you head down the ladder here, so we have to do this manually, I guess, because... You know, when, when there's ladders, you can't just fly down stuff. Um, but yeah, if we head down this second one now. So obviously this world was made in pure survival. I just have host privileges on, just to make stuff easier. Uh, oh, this is where I kept the cobblestone and stuff. Okay, then. 
So yeah, the, the kind of uh, goal behind these mines was just to get as much iron as possible for that railway. That was kind of the big goal after a certain point. But one of the goals I was really happy with, like when I did it, because I didn't know how long the world was. I just knew it was limited. Uh, in fact, most people seem to think that the world was 1,000 by 1,000 back then. But uh, basically, I, I'm, I have a tunnel. Uh, I think it's two tunnels, in fact, going from one side of the world. So let's try and hopefully prove this. One side of the world all the way to the other. It's I, I don't know why I went this crazy and this far. But it's apparently a thing I did, and you can just see, like, I, I you know, it, it's 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 not that crazy compared to my tunnel system in my current world. But still, just one of the first things I decided to do in Minecraft was mine all the way to the end, and uh, I I was just really proud of myself for doing it because I, I made it. I'm like, oh, can't break any more blocks. I made it. I made it. Also, wait, one sec. So can I not break this layer? Okay, I I thought like it didn't go one block further, but that that's that. So uh, yeah, that's um. Wait, actually, I must have mined these blocks because. This this is weird. This this is really weird. So um, yeah, this is this is the edge of the world right here. Uh, if we create a bot, we might be able to see some of the old biomes over here actually. So let's let's see what's up, what was what was over up here because I don't think I ever did see that. So I'm gonna have to place some torches so we can actually see some stuff. Because um, again, this was before like any things. But oh, we have an, we have the old savanna biome over here. So yeah, it's actually on top of the, like it's using an extreme hill to make it. But this is actually what the uh, savanna biome used to be like. And apparently we got a super hilly one. So. Uh, yeah, that's that's kind of. Oh no, this isn't the savanna. Wait, maybe this is. Uh, it's the color of savanna because it's a desert now, I guess. Uh, that, that's where I'm getting the savanna thing from. So yeah, you can see we've got a really cool desert, like desert plains that you can't get this naturally. You have to make this or have an old world. I think that's kind of cool. And uh, if we just fly back up the other world, it, wait, you'll see. It, it eventually leads back to here. The world isn't actually that massive when you you know fly over it. But you know back then it it seems so large and infinite. Like there's just so many directions you can head in all of them. And uh, yeah, it's really really cool. So the one last thing I think I, I I should show now that we're in creative and we can fly through easier. Let's show off the Never in this world because I think the Never generations changed slightly since this update. Um, I guess they've added the Never fortress and stuff. But I guess I show you what I did in the Never. So I don't think there's actually there was too much to do back then. Like I guess you got Never rack and then. Glowstone? Yeah, I guess I guess you come to the Never for Glowstone back then. That's about it. Um, oh, stuff does actually just spawn everywhere um, now. But still, we, what we're looking for is maybe some other portals. Because I remember I did try to mess around with portals back then. This, this is when I learned about portals. Uh, and there should be some portals around here somewhere. But I guess I can't find them anywhere. Um, it's a very open Never compared to what you mostly find today. Like, it really maybe this is just the seed being a lucky one, but it looks like most of the Never is accessible from like the same plane. Uh, maybe this is an old lucky Never. Maybe it is the seed. But either way, it's pretty cool. But yeah, let's just. Uh, there was a part of the Never I was using testing, you know, like portals, and I found it so weird that two portals be linked to the same point. I it took me a long, long time to understand that, but I'm glad I do now. And uh, yeah, that's what I learned on this world. So in this world, I learned that secret entrances that go nowhere don't achieve anything. I got a bunch of achievements. I made terrible houses. I have a cool design for an ever portal. And uh, I made one of the longest roller coasters I've made. I, I think one of the only roller coasters I've made in survival to this day. Uh, there was apparently a total waste. But, you know, at least I did something. Also, this 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 desert here is covered in, like, random patches of snow. I wonder what this is all about. Like, this is very, very weird. But, yeah, uh, that's that's the thing that has happened. I guess when the snow was falling, this must be a snow biome right now. Uh, but, yeah, so we've got a bunch of cool stuff in this world. Uh, obviously, it's been so long since I've been in it, so obviously it's not that massive. But, uh, you know, for me, this was a cool trip through memory lane to see my first ever time mining from one side of the world to the other. Uh, seeing, you know, that that never thing seeing my old house it was all cool to see and hopefully you did enjoy it too um and i hope you enjoyed the video and i guess i'll see you on the next one so please do like it if you do like it share if you really liked it and subscribe if you're new around here i hope you all enjoyed the title update one revisit and i'll see you all in the next video goodbye